Okay, so really quick, I got a sticker from Ryobi King. He's a Ryobi fan, he uploads videos as often as he can. I watch Ryobi King, so he sent me a sticker. Thank you Ryobi King for sending me that, that is right there. Alrighty, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna have a versus video between the Milwaukee Fuel brushless uh, hammer drill versus the Hilti brand new brushless hammer drill. Alright, so for the Milwaukee we're gonna use a 3 amp hour battery, uh, 3 amp hour high output battery. Uh, the model number for this is 2804-20. It is, uh, the beats per minute is zero to 32,000. Uh, on, uh, uh, there's two speed settings. On speed one, it goes to zero to 550 RPMs. On speed two, zero to 2,000 RPMs. And I believe this is a 1,200. And let's, let's get the torque really quick. All right, so the Milwaukee is 1,200 inch pounds of torque. All right, so that is the Milwaukee. This thing is a beast. You know, it's uh, small, compact, it is heavy. This, this is a beast. So this is gonna be a good one to do. All right, so the Hilti, we're gonna use a regular four amp hour battery. Hilti does not make any special batteries, so that's not uh, Hilti's fault. So we are gonna use a good uh, special battery for the Milwaukee, cause it's capable of doing so. The model number for this is SF6HA22. Uh, two speed settings. Uh, this goes to, at speed 1, 0 to 490 RPM. At speed 2, 0 to 2,000. So the RPMs are pretty much the same, but the torque for this is 708. So the Milwaukee has an advantage of having uh, 390 more torque, inch, more inch-pounds of torque than the Hilti does. But the advantage that the Hilti has this is a 21.6 volt system when this is 18. So we are gonna see if the, if the Hilti could take advantage of its higher voltage. We're not gonna waste any time. Let's get to the test right now. All right, so we are gonna do the Milwaukee first. We're gonna start out small. First, we're gonna do a one inch spade. We have a four by four pressure treated wood right here. All right, so so we stop the clock as soon as the uh, chuck slams into the into the wood. All right, so ready, go. <laughs> Time. All right, so ready, go. <laughs> Time. All right, so let's switch up. I'm sorry, the battery is full. So let's switch to the Hilti, speed two, battery is full, we're going to do two holes, alright so ready, go, oh sorry my bad I got to start that over, go. Let's do one one more with this. So ready, go. Time. Not too bad at all. Uh, I'd say let's do uh, one hole. We're gonna time one hole individually. Then we're gonna do three holes at once. Speed two. All right, so ready, go. Very good. We're gonna do one hole with the Hilti. All right, so ready, go. Time. 
Now both of these tools are brand new. This is my first time actually using this drill in here. So both of these tools are, are brand new. All right, so three holes. Ready, go. Time, not bad. Not bad at all, that, that felt good to do. Alrighty, three holes. We'll start off right here, speed two, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. All right, we're gonna give that one more shot. All right, so ready, go. Time, there we go. See, it, it is a big difference if you go on an angle and then you wedge it. I'm gonna give a different tool the first cut. All right, I'm not trying to cut through it. I just wanted to wear the teeth out. Even if it messes up and I gotta adjust, that's its own, uh, its own fault. Ready, go. It's on drill, speed two. Yep, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, I do not know what the results are. I find that out during the editing of the video. The battery is at three bars on this as well. So we are gonna drive in two Timberlock screws each and see what the time is. All right, speed two, it is on drill. All right, so ready, go. Time. Oop, I gotta take that out a little bit. Hopefully I can. There we go. All right, so ready, go. Bingo. All righty, so it is the Hilti's turn. All right, so ready, go. Time. Do one more. All right, so ready, go. Time. Alrighty, so what we are going to do is Hilti is going to take out Milwaukee's and Milwaukee is going to take out Hilti's. So let's do the Milwaukee first. Alright, I think that one's screwed. Alright, I got to drill in one more. Alright, so ready. Oh, we're not timing this. Alrighty. We are good to go. Alright, so. Ready, go. Time. Hilti's turn. All right, so ready, go. Oh, I, I'm just not gonna, I'm gonna stop the timer when I was skipping it. It's my bad on that. Oh, sorry, each of these are gonna drive in a four and a half inch lag. Alrighty, so, much better angle. All right, so ready. Uh, we got drill, speed one. 
Go. Done. Very, very good. It drill, speed one. Ready? Go. Done. Alrighty, so we are gonna take this out. You know what? We'll do. We'll do since I already got on it. Ready? We'll take it. We'll, they're just gonna take each other off. They're on out. Ready? Go. Very good. Uh, let's do Milwaukee's. All right, so ready, go. Time. Good job on both of them. Very good job on both of these drills. We're gonna do two holes, one on uh, speed one and one on speed two. All right, so ready, go. It is time. Alrighty, let's take this out slowly. Alright, we clear everything. Alright, speed two. Ready? Go. Not there yet. Yeah, it's there. Right, let's take it out slowly on speed one. There we go. That is time. I, I'm gonna fire, and like you saw, I know exactly when to stop it. All right, so it is Hilti's turn. Now, the last time I did this, Hilti did it in like in less than five seconds on speed two. So we're gonna use speed one first. That clears everything. All right, so ready, go. Excellent. I'll slowly take it out. Don't speed it in. There we go. Alright, let's do speed two. This is the final test. Alright, so ready? It clears everything, right? Yep, ready? Go. time. Actually went past a little bit. But there you go. Let's take it out slowly. Oh, speed one. That's right. All right. So, and the final test is the battery test. What's the battery on the Hilti at? Three bars. The battery on the Milwaukee is at two. So, so it's still fair. Battery life is still fair. Alrighty, so let's do a quick temperature reading. All right, the hottest point on the Milwaukee is 79 degrees. Be awesome. Oh, I saw 62. All right, the hottest point on the Hilti is 62 degrees. So the Hilti ran, doing the same tasks, ran significantly cooler than the Milwaukee did. That's
So this has been the versus video between the Milwaukee Fueled Brushless Hammer Drill versus the Hilti Brushless Hammer Drill. Now, we are not done with these tests, so we are going to move on to, in a different video, metal and concrete. And we're going to see what these uh, can do against those materials. Now, they both, I do not know, the, I do not know what the results are. Uh, the results are there. I'm sorry if you don't like them. So I feel like they both did exceptionally well when it comes to the performance. Now, I was looking on Milwaukee, uh, on the Home Depot website. Now, this drill is actually $10 more than this drill. And so the batteries on the, uh, and uh, all the other stuff, on the other hand, for the Hilti are a lot more expensive than it is for the Milwaukee. But the drill itself costs 10 more dollars. And so just tool only. And so uh, they both did well. Uh, I can't really comment on that right now because uh, it's, uh, I, 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 lo I love them both. They both did a very good job. And in an upcoming video, we are going to do the same test between Hilti and DeWalt and DeWalt versus Milwaukee. So the DeWalt has a 6 amp hour battery. It has the Flex Volt. So we're going to see how the uh, Flex Volt goes against the regular Hilti battery. Now Hilti does not have any special batteries. Their batteries are already powerful, so they don't need to. It's already implemented in the battery. Uh, I'll see if I can find out what the cells are. I'll put that in right now. And so yeah, uh, uh, upcoming video. So please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. DeWalt versus Hilti is coming up next. And along with uh, uh, other tools as well when it comes to versus videos, not just the hammer drill. So this, I've been itching to do this test. So uh, since I got the, the hammer drill and I did, I wanted to get this out there so you guys can see. The results are there. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.